Well, it's time to get started on greenhouse number two. Last summer, we ordered another greenhouse from growersolution.com. It was delivered and we had good intentions of getting it up last summer and then things just didn't work out and we didn't get it up before the end of the summer. Two winters ago, we bought our first greenhouse. We've been using that in the spring to start all of our veggie starts for the garden and so that we can take some plant starts to the local farmer's market to sell some of those plant starts. But we have loved having that greenhouse so much that we have chosen to build another one so that we can hopefully grow over the cool months of the year, so fall through spring. Right. So our current one is configured with mostly tables that we've built out of sawhorses so we can have all of our plant starts on. So there's not really room in that one to build a lot of raised beds or do much container gardening. And that's gonna be the plan for this one. This one will be all raised beds and containers so that we can grow all winter long. The size of our current greenhouse is 16 feet by 32 feet. It has worked perfectly. We think it's gonna be the best size for our second greenhouse also. So in fact, we like the first one so much, this one is exactly the same. We ordered exactly the same kit. We figured that way we would already know how to put it up since we put up the first one and we'd be able to get it done, hopefully in, you know, a short amount of time. These greenhouse kits are easy enough for just regular people to put up. We had a couple friends help us with our first greenhouse, but this second greenhouse, it's just gonna be Kevin and I. Right, yeah, there's no real heavy parts, which we like. Uh, and de definitely just manageable for two people. So we're gonna show you all of the parts today. They're here on the ground behind me. And we're just gonna walk you through all the different parts that arrive when you buy it. And there are some parts that don't come with the kit. So you need to keep that in mind when you're planning your budget and things for ordering one of these kits. Now, just like our first kit, this kit we ordered from growersolution.com and they are just a great company. We, we had some questions when we were putting up our first one. We didn't quite understand some of the instructions. We were able to give them a call. They walked us through it and it just went up so nicely. So this, this kit that we ordered today, again, is a 16 by 32 foot uh, greenhouse. It comes with most of everything that you need and it costs right around $2,000. So, uh, you know, a decent investment, but as far as getting a greenhouse of that size, it is definitely affordable and something that, you know, I highly recommend if you're serious about trying to grow food in the winter. So on the ground here is all of the metal pieces that come with the kit. This is pretty much everything you need to build the frame of the greenhouse. Let me walk you through each piece and kind of show you what they are. So these first two pieces, these first two uh, things here are the bows. These are the actual hoops that go over the top of the greenhouse. Now keep in mind that we ordered this kit last July and we've had it sitting outside since it got here. So the packaging on it is a little wrecked at this point, but the poles themselves are still in perfect condition. So um, again, these are the actual hoops that go over the tops. This next package is the track that you use to actually install the plastic film. It's a track that has a piece of what's called wiggle wire that runs inside of it to hold the plastic secure. I'll show you that later when we move over to our current greenhouse, how that works. These next two packages are the actual legs of the greenhouse. Now, our, the greenhouse that we ordered, just like our current one, has three and a half foot straight sides before it starts to bow. And then those sides actually we are able to roll up for ventilation to be able to go through the entire greenhouse. It's really nice to have. So this next, next package is really long poles. These are actually the purlins that run along the top of the greenhouse that connect the bows together. And then these are also the poles for the roll up sides. These are what are down by the ground. This last package is the end wall kits. We actually purchased two end wall kits, one for the front and one for the back. If you're handy, you can make your own and you can make them out of wood, uh, but I like to have the metal. I think it'll just hold up better over time and that way everything comes right with the kit. Let's take a look at the different hardware packages that they send along as well. So up here, first of all, in this box, we have all of the instructions. This is the instructions for the actual greenhouse assembly. 
the end wall kits and the roll up sides. So you wanna make sure you hang on to those. Uh, but they are available online on their website as well that you can download and print off which uh, makes it nice because I tend to leave things out in the rain and then I need an extra copy. Inside the box is all of the plastic for the greenhouse. This is for both ends and the top. So this is all here and the plastic that we got with the first greenhouse is holding up awesome. It's been now this will be the third year that we're going to have it and there's no real signs of wear yet on the plastic, which is nice. So I think we'll get at least five or more years out of it before we need to even think about replacing the plastic. Then they also send you different little packages, uh, clearly marked, which I like. And it tells you exactly what's in it. This is the all of the hardware for the end, end kits. And then this is the, all of the hardware for the roll-up sides. And then this is the hardware for the actual greenhouse itself. And then this is a roll of wind strap. This will actually go over the greenhouse to add extra uh, protection to hold the plastic onto the frame. And it works out really well. We definitely recommend you use this. Even if you're not in a real windy area, this helps a lot. It holds everything nice and tight. So let's take a walk over to our current greenhouse and I'll kind of show you again what all of these things are so you can see how they actually work. So behind me is our current greenhouse. I wanna show you guys some of the features that we like about this greenhouse and at least one change that we're gonna make on the next one. The first thing that I talked to you guys a little bit about already is the roll up sides. This is a feature that we absolutely love. It does cost just a little bit extra, but it's definitely worth the price because it gives so much ventilation within the greenhouse. Let me show you how that works. Now when you have the roll up sides on your greenhouse, your plastic will actually attach up here. From here down, it's kind of loose. Then all the way at the bottom of the greenhouse is a metal pole that runs the entire length. And then what the roll-up sides allow you to do is to be able to just take this handle and roll up that entire side of the greenhouse. And then what I've done is I've just taken a piece of PVC pipe, put a 90 degree elbow at the end, that goes right on the handle and that holds that open and we have great ventilation throughout the entire greenhouse. And we have this on both sides. Now, while we were looking through the parts, I told you guys about a track and something called wiggle wire. For those of you who aren't familiar with that, what that is, this is the track right here. And the wiggle wire is this wire that's kind of bent like this and it goes inside that track and that's what actually holds the plastic to the greenhouse. Let me show you a little bit better how that works on the roll up sides. So if you notice when we put the roll up sides down, there is quite a bit of loose plastic right here, which isn't a big deal in the summer when it's warm, but in the winter you may not want all of this loose like this so that cold air can get in. So what you can actually do is you can take an extra piece of the wiggle wire and you can pull this piece of plastic here and there's actually a track here that holds this piece of plastic on and you can actually use this to secure the side so that there's no draft. So the piece of wiggle wire will just go here and then it'll just go into the track and it'll hold that nice and tight and now you don't have any drafts on the side of your greenhouse. And this is great for the time of year like now when you don't really want to be rolling the sides up. You just leave it like this and you have a nice, tight, tightly sealed greenhouse. So there's really only a couple things that don't come with the kit. Things that you need to buy locally. The first thing is lumber. So you do need pressure treated 2x6s uh, here. If you're going to have the sides like, like we have, you need pressure treated lumber that's up here that runs the entire length and pressure treated lumber at the ground that runs the whole length. So again, in our case, that would be 32 feet on the bottom, 32 feet here, and again on the other side. And then the other thing that doesn't come with it is a door. In our case, we just have a nice metal door on the front. Now this is one change that we are going to be making on the new greenhouse. On the new greenhouse, we're going to actually be putting a door on the front and the back. We think between the roll up sides and a door on the front and the back will get much better ventilation. So that's why on this one, we'll be doing a door on both ends. In fact, I think after I get the new greenhouse up, I'm gonna actually redo the back of this one and put a door on the back of this one as well. I think it'll help a lot with ventilation. 
So let's head back over to where the new greenhouse is going to go, which is actually right next to this one on the other side. And we'll actually get to do some nerdy greenhouse math. I'm going to show you guys how we need to figure out where the four corners need to go because that's going to be the most important part. We need to get the four corner posts exactly in the right spot and that'll make the whole rest of the project go so much easier. All right, so this is where the new greenhouse is gonna go. And again, we need to put the four corners in today or at least mark where they're going to go. Now, Sarah and I used these white posts uh, last week one day and we just roughly, and we just roughly marked out where the corners are gonna go. It's by no means accurate. It was just so we could kind of visualize where things are going to go. But today we need to do it much more accurately in order to make sure that this greenhouse goes up the right way. So that leads me to some nerdy greenhouse math. You guys know that I like to make sure things are done well. And so we need to figure out exactly how to get this thing squared up. So we're basically gonna be making a big rectangle on the ground with the with all the posts that need to go in and the way that you can make sure that a rectangle is square is by measuring the two diagonal dimensions but we need to figure out what those need to be so that we can know whether or not we have it correct so we're going to do some math here we go you guys remember this from high school a squared plus b squared equals c squared so in our case this is our greenhouse here we know that A is 32 feet, B is 16 feet, and C is what we're trying to figure out. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Here we go, page number two. A squared, six, 32 times 32 is 1024. B squared is 16 times 16, which is 256. So if we add a squared and b squared together, we get c squared, which is 1,280. Now that doesn't mean that the greenhouse is gonna be 1,280 feet long. So we need, to, we need to now take the square root. Am I bringing back all kinds of bad memories for you guys of high school? So we need to find the square root of 1,280. I already did it for you. In our case, it'll be 35.75 or 35 feet, nine inches. So now when we put our four corners in, we can measure from corner to corner. And this measurement here should be the same as this measurement here. And they should both be 35 feet, nine inches if we have them in the right place. So I'm gonna get busy trying to figure out exactly where this is going to go. And then I'll show you guys the progress that we're making. Well, the nerdy greenhouse math paid off. I got all the corners marked out. You can see it here with this string that I have a, so we can see a real good now visualization of exactly where the greenhouse is going to go. What I end up doing is driving some PC, pieces of PVC pipe where each corner will go. That way when I get ready to actually drive the metal pipe in, I can go right over the top of it and I already have it marked exactly where it needs to go. So now from here to here is 32 feet, from here to that corner is 16 feet, and from here to that far corner, 35 feet, nine inches. Well, now that those corners are marked, the rest of this project should be a breeze. Over the next few days, we're, about, we're supposed to have some really nice days here in the Ozarks, so we're hoping to get a lot of work done. We'll be bringing you guys along. We're so excited to get started on this kit. We absolutely love the greenhouse that we already have. And even though this new one is going to be just like this one on the outside, on the inside, it's gonna be completely different. So we hope you'll follow along as we build our raised beds and get a jump start on the growing season in this new greenhouse. 
And if you're not a subscriber to our channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you leave. The absolute best way you can support us is by sharing our videos on all of your social media. Until next time, thank you so much for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless.